Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm revealing, I guess, something very exciting, and that is Dane and Todd's, no, I got the name wrong, Todd and Dane's Indie Read Along. We put Todd's name first, because it's kind of Todd's idea, and I'm just piggybacking, so, Todd and Dane's Indie Read Along. The idea is, Todd and myself, we are going to read a different indie book every month, so Todd will pick one, I'll pick one, and we're going to invite people to read along with us, so we're going to pick different books each month, so there is a little bit of choice. So, for February, Todd is going for Awareness by Ryan Laura, and Ryan Laura is Madman Reads and Rocks here on uh, YouTube, and I will be going for Adrian Baldwin's Stanley McLeod Must Die and the reason I'm going for this is because I'm a character in it so I get killed brutally apparently so that'll be fun to look forward to. It's gonna be a monthly thing so we're gonna have a book each month. These are our books for February so you've got plenty of time to grab yourself a copy and to read along with us and then at the end of each month we're gonna post a video to kind of share our thoughts and our reviews of the books and then to reveal the book for uh, March. So if you've got any suggestions for any books or if you're an indie writer yourself, please let me know. I've got plenty on my kind of wish list, but equally I kind of, I want to do uh, indie books from BookTube ideally so that we can kind of keep it within the community because Adrian Baldwin, while he is a lovely chap and he is a, uh, an indie writer, he doesn't do YouTube. So boo Adrian. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this book and then I'm going to talk about some other details like our rating scheme and all this kind of stuff. So. Adrian Baldwin, Stanley McLeod Must Die. Death can be a real downer. Just ask Stanley McLeod. The ancient and inveterate gambler has just found out he hasn't long to live. Refusing to believe his prognosis, though, Stan puts a massive bet on that he will reach his next birthday. Surely his run of bad luck can't last. Unfortunately for Stan, the independent bookie he uses grows nervous as the big day approaches and decides to bump him off with one of her many fun, but ever so slightly fatal, high odds proposition bets, aka Maggie's specials. Will Stanley McLeod make it, ruining Maggie McCulloch in the process, or will the heartless bookie have her evil way, accidentally kill him and save her business? Perhaps Stan's womanising alcoholic old pan Dougie can be of some help. Yeah right, good luck with that. Oh, and there's a whole secondary storyline about the head honcho, a serial killer who leaves his victims' torsos in one places and their heads in another. Yikes. A second dark comedy for grown-ups from award-winning author Adrian Baldwin. This one's set amongst the tower blocks of Salford, Manchester, at the height of the banking crisis and global financial meltdown. So yeah, I think the head honcho, the serial killer in this, may get his hands on a character called Dane Cobain, so... I am looking forward to uh, finding, out, finding out how I die. <laughs> yeah, so the overall plan, like I said, we're going to be reading along in February and we will post our reviews at the end of the month. So I need to check with Todd and confirm when we think will work best, but the reviews for these will either go up on Sunday the 25th of February or Thursday the 1st of March. So we will pick out a date and I'll put that in the description so we can all kind of post our reviews on the same days and get talking about it. And I'm sure we'll also make some uh, email trails as well. So if you want to read either Stanley McLeod Must Die by Adrian Baldwin or Awareness by Ryan Laura, then let me know with a comment and um, or in fact, just drop me an email at dane at danecobain.com and I will add you to an email list so we can all discuss the books. Like I said, when we do post our reviews at the end of the month, we'll also be posting our uh, March books. And again, there's always going to be two choices so myself and Todd are both going to host this with a different book so you can take a pick and choose one that you want to want to check out but the idea is to give a bit of love to indie authors um, you know it's it's hard being an indie author Todd and myself are both indie authors so at some point I'm sure we'll read one of each other's books um, but we want to spread the love a little bit and we think booktube is a great community with which to do that and uh, we think there's a lot of room for for the booktube community to to do more for indie authors so like I say, if you're a booktuber or if you like to watch booktube and you're an indie author, then get in touch and uh, we'll we'll try and we'll try and make it happen. Although we can only between us cover two books a month, so that's 24 books a year, and there are a lot more indie books than that. The last thing to mention as well is our rating system. So we want to try and be as uh, constructive as possible, both with our criticism and with our ratings. You know, I think um, with indie books, obviously. It is harder to even just to cover the cost of things like editing and cover design and that kind of stuff which can affect the overall aesthetics of a book I suppose. So 
we're going to be slightly generous, but we do also want to be constructive. And I mean, I'm hopefully only going to read indie books that have been professionally edited because I have a bit of a thing about that. I, I don't like it when people don't use editors because I think you can tell. But <laughs> but we do have a rating system for that. So if if we feel a book needs editing, then uh, that's a three out of five stars, basically. I'll go through them all. So I have five stars will be for this book should be mainstream it's an amazing book stands up there against you know professionally published releases and everyone should go and buy it four stars is almost there which again i guess is equivalent to a three and a half a three star in a regular review three out of five is just needs editing it may have been edited but if so it may need another round of editing or uh, you know a pretty brutal proofreading i suppose Number two, two out of five means needs editing and significant rewrites as well. So it's not just a case of line editing. It, it needs some work, <laughs> put it like that. And one out of five is not worth reading. So try again next time. I know we do want to stress here as well. Even if we do give a book a one out of five, you know, that's not to say that you should never write again. It's just that we didn't like it. <laughs> so yeah, I have actually read the first 42 pages of this, so I'm about 10% in, but I'm now going to wait until uh, February to crack on with it. I literally picked this out as it's just one of the indie books on my shelf, and it's probably the one that I want to read the most right now. However, for the March one, I'm going to specifically, you know, look at some recommendations people leave and specifically pick out a book for this readathon rather than just grabbing a book from my shelves because I needed to film a video. <laughs> so yeah, do join myself and Todd in February for Todd and Dane's Indie Read Along. Like I said, Todd is reading Awareness by Ryan Laura and I am reading Stanley McLeod Must Die by Adrian Baldwin. I do actually want to read Awareness by Ryan Laura as well. So I think I'm going to see what the reviews are like in February and um, possibly we'll give it till the summer and then I'll pick it up as my book and uh, maybe Todd will read this one. We'll see. So. Now that you've seen this video, you know what to do. Go out and buy one of these two books and I'll try and leave links below and all that kind of stuff. And in the meantime, happy reading in February. Hopefully you get to pick up uh, one of these two books. And if not, just feel free to pick up any indie book by any indie publisher or self-published author and just, you know, take the idea and run with it. We want to show some support for the indie writing community. So in the meantime, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more bookish videos. Leave a comment to let me know if you're going to read either of these two books and also suggest some indie books of your own and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye.